Hey, Tony here. Today we're doing an unboxing from the Warner Archive sale, so stay tuned. So today I finally received my order from the Warner Archive sale. I placed two orders. This right here was the first order that I placed, I believe back on March the 16th. And it finally came in. So I thought I would take the time today just to open this up and show you the titles that I picked up. Now I do know that a lot of people are still waiting on their um, packages from the sale. Um, I think some of them haven't even gotten any kind of notification that the um, purchase ever even went through, but I'm very thankful that I was able to get these titles. So it looks like I got 12 titles in all for this first order. I've already done the video for the second order that, are, that I received, so you can definitely check, out, um, check that one out up in the um, cards above. Um, but first up, <clears throat> I did pick up um, Josie and the Pussycats, the complete series. Um, I grew up watching this, so it's nice to have this on Blu-ray. This has been out for a couple of months, and I never did uh, pick it up. But with the um, Warner Archive site being down now, I thought I'd go ahead and get that. I also got Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space, the complete series. Now, I didn't watch this one as much as I did the original, but very happy to have this one in the collection. I picked up The Curse of Frankenstein. Never seen this, but I do like adding all the um, um, of all of these titles to the collection. Mr. Roberts. I've heard a lot of good things about that. I did get Tex Avery Screwball Classics Volume Two. Now, hopefully, they will continue doing um, releasing these. I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to handle all the Warner Archive titles in the future. Um, I got The Man Who Would Be King. Um, I've been sitting on this one for a long time and finally pulled the trigger and picked it up. I got um, Room for One More. I'm not very familiar with this one. I did watch the trailer for it. It is an older film and looked like something that I would be interested in. I got Night School. Not exactly sure why I picked this one up. I think somebody might have suggested or recommended this one to me. I'm not very fam I'm not familiar with this one at all. I don't even remember watching the trailer for that one. Um, Summer of '42 is another one that I've been watching for a while. Looks very interesting. Um, Leatherface: The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Now I thought oh, I had already had this one in the collection, but I did not. So I finally picked this one up. I've never actually seen this particular movie that I can remember. Um, but I, I got that one. I got um, Gaslight. Now this right here is an older film with Ingrid Bergman that I've never seen. Um, but it looked like something that would be um, interesting. And then lastly... I got Cabaret. Now I'm not really sure why I got this one. Don't even remember picking this one up. I think this one's got Liza Minnelli and Michael York in it. Um, I have definitely heard about Cabaret, but I'm not sure why I picked this one up. This does not seem like anything that I would really care much for. It is a musical. Um, maybe my wife Sonia put that in the cart. Anyways, it's in my collection now. Um, but those are the new 12 titles that I picked up in the collection. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular titles. And let me know if you were able to participate in the Warner Archive sale. Also, um, let me know if you're still waiting on your order to arrive or if you've even received any kind of notification that your order has shipped. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.